Once you know how to calculate the surface area of just about any polyhedron, you're going to apply it to different problems where you've got some joined surfaces. In this one, you have a cone joined to a cylinder. So if we were to calculate the surface area of this polyhedron, you're going to have to think about, well, where do parts overlap? Well, we're going to start off with the lateral area of this cone, which I'm going to draw as a sector, since that's what it looks like if you unfold it. So we're going to say a lateral area of the cone. Then you're going to add in, not the base of the cone, but the lateral area of the cylinder, which is a rectangle. So I'm going to add in the lateral area of the cylinder. And last, you're going to add in the base of the cylinder, which is a circle. So we'll say the base of the cylinder. The common mistake when you're trying to find the surface area is either adding in two circles, because you see two circles, or even three circles, where you say the surface area of the cone includes one circle. Surface area of the cylinder involves two circles for a total of three. But if you look at how we broke it down, we only calculate the surface area of one circle. So that's going to be a trick when you're trying to solve problems where you have joined solids. Identify where they overlap and make sure that you don't double count anything.